On March 9th, the Coptic Orthodox Church remembers the departure of the great Pope Carolus VI. He was the 116th Pope of Alexandria and successor of St. Mark the Evangelist. He sat on the throne of St. Mark for 12 years, from 1959 to 1971. Pope Carolus was a holy man of prayer, who through full dedication to the life of prayer and fasting, possessed many higher gifts, which included performing wonders and miracles, the gift of knowledge, and an unusual ability to lead by example. He was undoubtedly a very spiritual man and brought the Coptic Church into a new era of spirituality. He was highly regarded by the people of Egypt from all walks of life, Christians and non-Christians alike. Pope Carolus VI was born on Saturday, August 2, 1902, and was called Azer Atta. His father Atta was a church deacon and belonged to a middle-class family. After completing high school, Azer went to work for a shipping company in Alexandria. He was content with little food and the ground to sleep on. Then, much against his family's wishes, he resigned his job with the intention of becoming a monk and entered the Monastery of El Baramos on Wednesday, July 27, 1927. He was ordained a monk on Saturday, February 25, 1928, and was named Mina, after the name of Saint Mina, his patron saint. He was ordained priest on Saturday, July 18, 1931. He also attended the Helwan Theological College and was rated one of the top students. Father Mina's love for God was so great that he desired a life of solitude and pursued it by living in a cave near the monastery of El Natrun Valley in the western desert between Cairo and Alexandria. Then he headed the monastery of Saint Enba Samuel the Confessor at Zawarah in Upper Egypt and devoted a great deal of effort towards the restoration of the historic landmark. When the monastery of St. Samuel was restored, he left that area and moved to a deserted windmill in El Makattam mountain at the outskirts of Cairo. This windmill was totally abandoned and very dangerous. It was miles from the nearest city. Many dangerous animals could be found there at all times, like scorpions and snakes. Here, Father Mina spent his time praying and contemplating because of his love for his savior. It goes without saying that Father Mina had many obstacles to overcome with Satan. Satan instigated that the guard of antiquities not to carry water to the monk. Afterward, God sent one of his saints in a dream to rebuke the guard. So he woke up and carried water to Father Mina, who was in urgent need for it. Father Mina also built a church at ancient Cairo under the name of Saint Mina. He lived in this church till his ordination as Pope of Alexandria and the Holy See of St. Mark in 1959. Father Mina was ordained Pope on Sunday, May 10, 1959, and was named Carolus VI. He was the loving and vigilant pastor of all. At the end of the liturgy, all people gathered around him as he began to bless them individually, standing for long hours with meekness and patience. The Pope abolished any barrier between him and his congregants. As a result, anyone could meet the Pope whenever in need, even if he was sick or if he came at night while everybody else was asleep. When the Pope was asleep, his patron saint, Saint Mina, would awaken him. Once, as Father Raphael Avamina says, someone went to Pope Carolus to pray for him because all medical effort to heal him had failed. But the Pope was asleep, so the person was about to go home, but St. Mina awakened the Pope to give him his blessings. The man was surprised to find the Pope calling him by his name, even though he had never seen him before. The amount of documented miracles performed by Pope Carolus and his patron saint, St. Mina, is immense. It is said that nearly every person who lived in those days of Pope Carolus witnessed a personal miracle whether healing from various diseases, miraculous solving of difficult life problems, casting out of devils, or just revelation of people's past. Until our present day, 
Pope Carolus performs miracles which are documented. There are more than 18 printed volumes documenting the miracles of Pope Carolus. It is said that Pope Carolus prayed more than 12,000 masses during his lifetime. He would start the day spiritually at 3 or 4 a.m. with the Holy Psalmody and finish the liturgy early so that most of the congregation can go to school and work. This continued for 35 years, ever since the Pope was a hermit. The Mass service was the source of his strength and greatness. In the era of Pope Carolus VI, many achievements were carried out. Amongst them are the renovation of the ancient Cathedral of St. Mark, the establishment of the Monastery of St. Mina at Mariotte, and the new St. Mark's Cathedral at Anbarues. For the first time in the history of Coptic Orthodox Church, he established Coptic Orthodox Churches in America, Canada, and Australia. He sent priests to undertake religious services in Europe and Africa. It is also during his era that the Blessed Virgin Mary transfigured at Zaitun on April 2, 1968. Her appearances continued almost every day for the two following years. People from other countries, especially Europe, traveled to Egypt to take Virgin Mary's blessing. Pope Carolus VI also restored the head of St. Mark from Italy. St. Mark wrote the Gospel and is the founder of the Coptic Church in Egypt. Monasticism, translation, as well as social service flourished under Pope Carolus VI. On Tuesday, March 9, 1971, Pope Carolus departed in peace. May the prayers and intercessions of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and of Pope St. Carolus VI and his patron Saint, St. Mina the Martyr and Miracle Maker, be with us all. Glory be to God forever. Amen.